right, so again, this is the Make Block Laser Box Rotary uh, CO2 laser. And it has a feature where you are supposed to be able to draw something in black and it will engrave it and then draw something in red and it will cut it. And so I'm going to try the cutting part for the first time today. So I just used a uh, pa Paper Mate flare. It's a felt tip marker. And I've put this on the back of a cereal box. And I will let you know if this works. So it turns out that you need to do this process on a piece of their um, standard materials that come with their own icons which makes sense because as soon as you shut the lid and it takes a picture it needs to know um, what speed and power to operate. So I'm going to see if I can trick this a bit. So I still have a sticker that I've peeled off one of their sample pieces of basswood. Now this is probably going to be too much power um, just for the thinner cardboard but I'm just going to experiment and see what happens so just be very very careful. Okay, I think it's going to work. Didn't have to do anything in the software. I was able just to close the door and hit the uh, laser start button, and it's off and running. That's pretty cool. You'll notice it is slightly off of the red mark, but if you just want some uh, simple shapes, I think the shape dimensions will still be right on, and they're just slightly off. Uh, so that's very cool. <laughs> okay, I didn't even think about it, but there were other markings on this piece of cardboard, which it's trying to go in and engrave now. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and stop this. But um, that uh, that's pretty cool. Again, heavier settings that I needed, but, but very, very cool. Okay, so here's try two. I'm going to put it on a thicker piece of cardboard so that these uh, settings uh, will be a little bit better for this thicker cardboard. And again, this is just one of their uh, stickers that came off of one of their pieces of basswood. So trying to trick it just a little bit. And again, so it's going to cut around the red. But it is slightly off as it cuts, and so to um, avoid it looking uh, bad on the actual product, which in this case is just cardboard, I'm putting this piece of paper on top. So it will it will cut through, hopefully, the paper and the cardboard successfully all the way through. But then you can just take the paper off and, and you'll have a nice clean cut on the cardboard. So here comes trial number two. Okay, so as that was working, my little um, pieces of paper started started blowing around. You can see they uh, blew around quite a bit. And so it's cut out the you got um, really well on this little small hole here. It has not gotten this outline yet or the this, um, but it, you'll notice that it saw the edge of this uh, paper and saw that as a line. And so it has cut all the way around my white paper. So what I'm going to do is try to move all these extra pieces so that it can see this um, and then try it one more time and see uh, see what happens. So I should have used masking tape instead of just white paper because as soon as it cuts these tiny little pieces out of the white paper they went everywhere. So. Alright so I've, I've moved out part of the cardboard that it's already cut, so I've moved that out of the way. I put some tape on the word this. Um, now it's probably going to recut everything it's already cut, but, but that's okay. I just want to uh, experiment here. Okay, unfortunately I think I missed uh, getting that last little bit of video there, but I, I did try it again to where I had put a piece of tape over the word this. Um, again, masking tape would work better for this process to keep it down because these letters still did blow around, but you'll notice it did go around the word this. It has gone around my outside border, which is fantastic, and then it did recut some of these letters, which which is fine. I would have expected it to, but all in all, that's a, that's a really neat feature. So let me make sure that this, oh yeah, cut 
cut all the way through this cardboard. Again, I'm just simulating kind of settings for this um, basswood sticker. But, uh, but there we go. I have my great little... It missed the eye, the dot on my eye. But, but that's okay, it's still... You can still tell that it, that's an eye, so... All right, awesome. Well, I'm gonna be able to put this next to my work computer and a great little reminder for me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right, so I just added a piece of uh, red paper behind it, so this is a great place for it for now. Somewhere where I'll see it all day long while I work. <laughs> oh, so cute. But you can, uh, what an easy way to make ornaments. So I need to get cracking on some uh, holiday Christmas ornaments.